Hello guys, welcome to my this video and in this angular tutorial, I will show you how to create autofocus input field. Like guys, when we valid our OTP verification form, so we have noticed that is, uh, suppose this is the preview and here is the four input field. So like four digit of OTP. So when we press first digit in first input field, so the cursor is automatically focused on the next input field okay and uh, like this one you can see and if i press backspace key from my keyboard so it's focus on the previous input field you can see like this and guys this is very important thing and here i already made this video in javascript but guys here i'm making it in angular again because there is the little bit of difference and someone asked me to make it in angular also so that's why i'm making this video and guys here just i will write the custom code and i will explain very easy way you can easily understand so guys i hope it's clear what i'm trying to do and now guys i will open my visual studio code editor for making this type of otp verification form or you can say it auto focus input fill okay so guys i have opened app component.html and the ts file and if you want to open any other component so you can open that i mean where you want to implement okay so guys first of all in the html file here i will create a input fill i mean for input field for four digit otp so first of all here div class container and you know container is the bootstrap class for adding some space in left and right so this is not the part of the functionality of this one okay and here is the row because i will make it four grid for four digit input field so div class and call md this is uh, three okay and here I will write a input input type is text and here I will use the template difference variable so the template difference variable is first of all text one so if you don't know guys what is template difference variable so just here I'm giving the brief idea template difference variable is similar like ID we write like ID equals to text one so this is the same is like template difference variable text one so both are the same thing okay so in angular we don't need, don't need to write id because angular provides us template difference variable and you know guys when we write uh, write id so that time we denotes as a hashtag if we write class so it denotes this one as a dot sign so it's a same like id so you can see template difference variable start from hashtag okay so this is mandatory you have to be right hashtag and the variable name variable name you can write anything and here i will write max length max length means in the in that particular input field how many digit or letter i can type so, so that is maximum length it's called max length this is the property so max length is one i mean in one input field i can put only one value so max length is one so save and if i open the browser so you will find one input field is created so like this way just this one i will copy and more than three times i will paste and the template defense variable id is always be unique so here template defense variable is a similar like id so here i will make it unique for each input field so this one is the text two, and now this one is the text three this one is the text 4 so save and now just i will open the browser four input field is created for four digit otp form so now here the main thing main thing is when i will just press and the guys max length i have added so here you can see i can't show but uh just i i'm pressing more uh keep my key key from my keyboard but uh, I can place more than one value because I have written here max length is one for each input field. That means every input field I can place only one any value like this. You can see a one value I can place. So this one. So now guys here when I will place one value, so cursor should be automatically focus on the next one. So how can do that? Just here for that I have to be write a method. So in Angular we write parenthesis and the method name. So method name is here key up because guys when 
I will press any key in my keyboard and then I will leave the key so that is key is down because when I will press any key and when I will leave the key so key is up in keyboard so that is the event is key up so key up and the event name event name you can write anything I have written more and guys angular provide a parameter that's called dollar event for capturing the event like here if I write suppose guys first of all here if I show uh, this move and in the TS file if I paste here and here we can write dollar event because this is the predefined event here we have to be write dollar event but for denoting this parameter here we can write anything I have written E okay and now guys here if I write console dot log E so let's check it what will be happen in console and in the dollar event this one will be comes in this E parameter okay so now just I will open browser okay so this one and open console also so console is open here and now guys if I press any key from my keyboard so you can see this is the first of all I'll clear and again if I press any key so you can see this is keyboard event because I press key from keyboard and I already said that is this dollar event capture the event right so that's why it's showing keyboard event because I press key from my keyboard and this dollar event after capturing the event it's coming in this E parameter because this parameter is denoting here so and I printed this one so the event is coming in the console this is keyboard event and you can see I press 2 so here it's showing code is digit 2 because 2 is a digit and here key is 2 you can see here so now here I don't need to uh, this 2 1 this key I need backspace because when I suppose my cursor is in the last input field when I will press backspace key from my keyboard so the cursor should be focused on the previous input field so I need only backspace key event so if I press backspace so here you can see this is keyboard event and the key is backspace code is backspace also so now from here anything I can take for the checking I can take key or I can take code so here I will take key okay so in the console here if I uh, so not a console just here first of all I will write e dot key and triple equals to backspace first of all I am writing this one here and I am commenting here just after that when I will uh, work on that so that time I will open and I will work on that so this one is the same so guys here first of all this event I will do later but before that here when I will press any key from my keyboard so that time the cursor will be automatically focused on the next input field that I have to be do first of all so for that guys here in the HTML page here in the event so event parameter why I have passed that I have shown because I need the backspace key event right and guys here I will pass another some parameter so comma first of all guys here I will pass the previous input field current input field and the next input field I hope you are getting confused here so just I will clear so guys this input field suppose my cursor just in the code I am showing suppose my cursor on focus on this input field right so when I will press any key in this input field so the cursor will be focused on the next one so that means this one is my current input field and the cursor will be focused next input field and now when my cursor will be next input field suppose any user press backspace so that time the cursor will be focused on the previous input field I mean here like this one. so here I have to pass another some parameter previous current and next so in the this this is the first input field so here before previously there is no other input field so 
here I will pass blank for previous input field and now current current is this one so I will just copy the ID and place here after that next one next input field so the next input field is this one so I will copy and paste so like this after that just I will copy the event and I will place hey I mean paste here and just here I will make some changes like this is the denoting previous one so here when cursor will be focused on the second input field the previous is this one so I will copy this ID and just here I will paste and after that this one is the denoting current input field so here current input field is text 2 so I will write here text 2 and after that next next is text 3 so I will write text 3 again I will just copy and I will paste here so previous previous is now text 2 this one then current current is text 3 and next next is text 4 like this and the copy and paste here so current so first of all previous previous is now text 3 current current is this text 4 and then next here at the last there is no other input field so the next will be here blank so html part is done so now here i have passed four parameter event for a previous input field current and the next four parameter so for denoting four parameter here i have to pass also the same so for the event you can see i have already passed parameter is called e so now for the previous input field so i will pass here n p and the type is any this one previous input field after that current input field so here i will pass c any and then if i show in the html this is the next input field so here i will write n and this n is for next input field so guys now first of all here i will write var and the variable is length because in this length variable just i will store our length and length will be current input field because guys it's showing the error so just i will save because i forgot to save that's why it was showing error and it was i will console first of all and after that error will be removed okay so now guys when my cursor will be focused on the current input field so i will just get the length of this current input field so where length okay so in the length variable i will get the current input field length so c is denoting current input field so here i will like c dot value dot length and same way i will write max length because all the input field i have set max length and that is one so i will get max length so here and the max max length will be our current input field also so here c dot get attribute and this one attribute is this max length attribute so i'll copy this one and paste here this one and now just i will write a condition if length triple equals to max length here i will not write triple equals to double equals to max length that means guys here i have added that is one max length is one and when i will uh, type any value in the keyboard so the max length will be one and the length will be one also first time because i have pressed one value right so when the max length and the length will be equal both will be equal so that time our cursor should be focused on the next input field right so here i will write n because n is denoting next input field so n dot focus this is the method javascript predefined method focus right so now save and i will show you how it's work so now if i press any digit from my keyboard so the length will be one and the max length will be one because in the uh max length parameter i have get the max length 
attribute so length and max length will be equal so now suppose if i press any input field so you can see it automatically focus on the next input field because when it will be equal it will be focused on the next input field so same way if i press the another you can see it's focusing on the next input field but but guys the thing is when i'm in the last input field and i press any key so that time the cursor is trying to focus on the next input field because here in the last input field length and max length is going equal and cursor is uh, go, uh, going i mean trying to focus on the next input field but it doesn't get in the next input field because after the last input field there is no other input field right so it can't focus on the next input field and it's showing the error so here for that i will check the cursor will be focused until it's not getting blank input field so that's why here i will write another if condition and if the next input field not equals to blank i mean until it's not getting blank input field so that time the cursor will be focused on the next input field so save and now if i press any input field and i'm trying to press after coming the last input field i'm trying to paste any other digit but here this i have said the max length is one so the i can't type uh, uh, more than one digit and the, i'm not getting error because it's focusing the next input field until the until it's not getting blank right this one and this one is done and now i, I will write backspace event when i will press backspace so the cursor should be focused on the previous input field so here i will write this if condition and now this one i will write now so this one okay and curly braces so when i will press backspace i mean e dot e is the event this one and key is backspace so it will be focused on the previous so guys just here when the key is backspace so previous is denoting p i mean previous input field is denoting p here so i will write p dot focus okay so save and so now if i press any key so cursor is focusing and if i press backspace key so cursor is focusing on the previous input field. you can see but here when it's not getting the previous another input field i'm uh, when i'm in the first input field and it's not getting the previous another input field so it's showing the error like same when i was in the last and it was not getting the next input field so same thing i will write another condition here that is if p not equals to i mean previous input field until it not blank so that time it will be focused if it's getting blank so it will not focus okay so this one so save and after that you will find it will work perfectly so you can see it's focusing if i press backspace key and i'm pressing backspace it's not showing any error right so it's very simple guys and i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you want to get more update so please subscribe and press the notification bell icon and if you find this video is helpful so guys don't forget to like this video